everybody welcome it was deadly premonition 2 sunday july the 26 2020 live so early i didn't even tweet live with deadly premonition 2 http you know the rest you know there's two kinds of people in this world http colon backslash backslash people and www dot people I am an HTTP optional S colon slash slash. If anyone says WWW, I automatically assume they are at least 55 years old. Wrong or right? There are also people who don't type any prefix into their address bar but we, we you know we'll, we'll save that for another day hold on let me get set up here let me get set up here it's not quite there's no words on it you gotta unplug this plug that in oh was that your superior venicava my mistake yeah stop typing links what are you doing trying to get banned I'm gonna need that link. Do you also double click everything? No, because I'm again, I'm not the boomer here. I'm on the cutting edge of society. I'm a boomer programmer because I I like object oriented programming instead of like procedural programming. I like to make classes and then get uh, in in uh, get the inheritance just right, and then oh, this one shouldn't really be another class. This should just be uh, this should just be an interface that forces you to integrate a, a virtual method, etc., etc. I'm an OOP boy, but I do not double click. All right, let me see if the switch is ready to go. It's had some time to warm up. Let's turn it on first. And then properties activate. You down with OOP? Yeah, you know me. I am down with OOP. I'm I'm down with the uh, with TTD as well. Don't get it twisted up. We have sound? No sound. Hold on. We got sound? Ooh. We got sound. I will close Clubhouse Games. I will launch Deadly Premonition 2 as Ryan. There we go. Did you mean TDD, test driven development? I did indeed. I got I got test driven development confused with uh time to kill when we talk about Call of Duty, so I called it TTD. Oh, what's your opinion of Jerry Rafferty's Baker Street? Does this answer your question? Who win it? Din -din 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 -din. Din -din -din -din. Who win it in a way, 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 who win it in a new, two, one, who win it. <laughs> great song. That's what I think about that one. I think it's a great song. I know almost none of the lyrics. I know the way down the street, there's a big street, and then nothing. Until the pre-chorus where he goes, I used to think that we were so happy, you're crying now. But it's a great sax solo, I'll tell you that much. All right. Francis York Morgan, what the hell are we doing? Pay a visit to Chuck, the man who discovered Lise's body. To, at the Crawfish 
Farmer's Shack. So they did release a new patch that supposedly makes the frame rate better and also means that York doesn't just talk. Instead, he has the button prompt that you had from Deadly Premonition 1 where you can press the button to get him to talk, so you're not constantly interrupting him. Um, I did hear it doesn't make the frame rate a lot better, but, you know, that's to be expected. <laughs> it's a start, at least. Baby steps. Baby steps. I can live with it. They did apparently lower the skateboard sound as well. Oh, a cutscene. Uh oh. It, it, Mr. Vibrating Eye Patch. I remember you. And, <laughs> and the, so, the guy with my aunt's haircut. Oh, that hot shot FBI agent I keep hearing about. And who might you be? I came to claim the body of my daughter. My daughter? My daughter, who was murdered in a holding cell after you detained her yesterday. PJ Clark, son. Zack, I wasn't expecting to run into the final boss this early. You must be the head of the Fourth Clarkson Wall, family. consider yourself broken. And you've come to claim the body of Galena Clarkson, whose dismembered corpse was found early this morning. Is that correct? Where did you learn that Galena had been murdered? What are you, 20 feet tall? Of the news ourselves. This is Lou Carey. And I, I am PJ Clarkson. There ain't a single thing I don't know about this town. I know every engineer on every train. I see. So then you must also all know their about the severed children and all ritual. of their names. I have a question for you, Philip. We suspect that Galena was murdered by someone from the Clarkson family. Have you given that possibility any consideration? <laughs> Listen up, you FBI piece of shit. Oh my god. You better watch your manners around my paw. Shut up, Daniel. But, sir. My bad, sir. I'll have you know I once had three children. Uh huh. Oh, that's fascinating. But I must not have raised them very well. Because my son and my eldest daughter both ran away and never came back to me. The only one who stayed by my side was my second daughter, Galena. Sounds like you named her and after an ice cream Daniel brand. she here into the family and presented me with both an heir and a What granddaughter. is this haircut? Seemed I for just a while can't as if get over this haircut. starting to calm down. But then... Someone corrupted both Galena and Lise. And I lost everything. Well, aside from my shit heel son in law, that is. And his stupid sexy haircut. You understand me, FBI? Galena's death is nothing but a loss for the Clarkson family. Doesn't mean the Clarksons are automatically innocent, though. Humans don't always act out of self-interest, do they? Pretty natural line My delivery mouth. for a ten-year-old. You're starting to sound more and more like your mother. You're beginning to remind me more of your mother. We're leaving, Daniel. What? But, but my treasure. Mm, treasure. Now, whether you end up being an angel or a demon, I reckon you're the man I've been waiting for all this time. That's a nice thing to say. Once you finish that autopsy, and we're clear to take her home, 
I want you to give me a call. They're phenomenal, Patty. So perfectly rural. Dun, dun, Ominous do, statements, do, do, foul mouthed do, insults. Do, do, do. This town possesses a complicated system of communication that you just can't find in the city. Work centric emails are so cold and lifeless. This is what true human connections feel like. Ain't that the connections truth. as visceral as blood itself? <sighs> so, Agent York. What's next on your agenda? I gotta go to the crawfish the shack. The last boss may have gotten the jump on us, Patty, but I didn't let him shake my resolve. I intend to obey the skeletal gentleman's oracles, and that's that. I forgot about that part. First, we should head to either the home of the person who discovered Lisa's body or to the town's medical facility. Hello, Google? Well, Zach, what do you think? Which one's closer to skateboard to? Or to bowling. Or to bowling, that's true. Four hundred, nine hundred. We'll be going to four hundred. Frame rate still not great. Maybe a little better though. I think it might be a little better. Like the frames seem okay, but it's almost uglier because now that I'm not focusing on the frame rate, I can see how bad the textures are. Uh, this is... That's gotta be the church, right? Yo, he's got the hops, though. There you go. We've unlocked fast travel. Which somehow has given us $10. Would you say the first game looked hey, better? Agent York. I might. I might say that the first game looks better. It's close. Just so you know, dealing with Pastor Sanders is going to be a big pain in the butt. Pastor Sanders? What's he going to do? Take 52% of my big income? pain in the butt? That's what I said. But I guess you have no choice but to obey your oracle, huh? I think it looks worse than the last game. Because the whole time you played the last game, it was with the knowledge that it was 10 years old. It really seemed like you knew who Galena Clarkson was. Well, I've never actually talked to her, but it's a small town. Pretty much all folks know who the Clarksons are. Yeah, you are. mentioned that and 20 or 30 times scary before. compared to the rest of them. Back when we saw her in town, I felt like she was glaring right at me. So I got real scared. No one will come out and say it, but... I'm pretty sure they're all relieved that she was the killer. We're lucky the killer ended up being a member of the Clarkson family. Otherwise, the whole town would have turned into a battlefield. You've got a point, but did everyone really hate her that much? They didn't hate her. She hated them. She had this real peculiar way of treating people. I don't know how to describe it. Kardashian-esque. Yeah, I guess that's it. She never opened up to anyone in town. She was rich, beautiful, and wanted to become an actress. So she went to a metropolitan city to refine herself. There's always a chance that people like her may develop prejudices towards those who stay in the countryside. A big chance, even. But just because a person has prejudices doesn't mean they'll go out and murder people. That's big of you. That's where my doubt lies. Was there any sort of omen which made people happy that she was the killer instead of someone else? I'm just telling you how I feel. How am I supposed to know if everyone else in town felt the same way? I never thought she'd actually go and kill her own daughter, though. There it is, Zack. It appears that her attempt to kill me wasn't simply a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. Maybe she was sad. Sad, perhaps. Instead of returning as a star, she was forced to come home after her dreams were crushed. That certainly sounds like a sad story, doesn't it, Zack? No, Agent York. Not that kind of sad. The kind of sadness that keeps folks away, hidden behind her attitude. Is there a word for that? Maybe it ain't in her attitude or her words, but the way she appears. Yeah. It's in her eyes. They remind me of someone. Ooh. You're 11! P. 
P.J. Clarkson? No, someone else. Hmm, I can't remember. That's okay, Patty. Forrest Whitaker? Just let me know if you happen to recall it later. Until then, Zack and I will help you think. You didn't even twitch when you saw Galena's body. Why would I? Dead things can't hurt us, right? Girls your age don't Extremely usually false. think that way. Do you have kids, Agent York? No, I don't. I'm not married either. Then you have no idea how girls my age usually think. Besides, I'm used to seeing dead bodies thanks to CSI. Those are not Especially dead bodies. Especially corpses it's like hers. You know, for a so-called profile careers. and professional, you're pretty clueless. In that case, allow me to apologize. But don't you think it's a bit of a leap to discount my observational abilities simply because corpses don't scare oof, you? Oof, I don't know. Oof. I mean, you're completely wrong. Do you know what I was thinking back there then? Of course not. I'm not a pro. The same goes for me, Patty. No manner of pro could ever know 100% of what another person is thinking. Unless, of course, that pro has a mental connection with them, like Zack and I have. If I was telepathic, I wouldn't have joined the FBI. I would have taken over a small country or become a messiah. Now who's making <laughs> crazy leaps? I will admit, though, Patty, I feel like you and I have something in common. We definitely have similarities, even though they aren't as strong as the ones that Zack and I share. Whatever. Perhaps you and I grew up under similar circumstances. We're both unique cases. Huh? Unique cases? In your case, your beautiful mother's second husband became your daddy. What but a strange thing to sick, say. Forcing you to take care of things, while you use CSI as your escape. Would you just knock it off? I ain't trying to act like some tragic heroine here. And I don't care that my daddy isn't the same color as Nobody me. brought it there. You're way more narrow-minded than I took you for, Agent York. Narrow-minded? You're just realizing this now? Of course I'm narrow-minded. I'm a selfish man who lives life according to his own rules. I'm a rebel, Daddy. With no interest in common sense. Naturally, this makes me terrible at reading situations, and I often end up angering people by total accident. But is it really that big of a problem? I've still made a contribution to society by solving numerous difficult cases, and I'm still terribly charming. And I'm still terribly charming. You and I have absolutely nothing in common. What kind of circumstances does a kid even need to end up like you? Try asking Zack. It's not my place to answer that one. <sighs> this is like Joker before he becomes the Joker. We're witnessing the, the system letting him down right now, but you can still see the seeds of like... of what You're like, that's something the Joker would think. I don't know if I can handle another tete-a-tete -tete with this 11-year-old. What else have you seen on that sci-fi movie channel? Agent York, why are you asking me that? Discussing movies is one of the most basic forms of communication in our country. When you're right, what you're right. What period do you live in? It's always been that way in every era. In this country, all dialogues always begin from films. Ugh. Says who? You're making me sick. Sick? Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna puke. I know just what you need to do, Patty. What? Tell me what other movies you've seen on that sci-fi channel. Ugh, you're so annoying. Got her. Fine, fine. Um, I saw this one movie where a pretty lady and an old guy fight, and they were both robots. Ah, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Kristana Loken. Directed by Jonathan Nick Stahl Lister. and Claire Danes. I knew you were an Arnold S. fan. It is an oh, Arnold S. movie. said it again. Oh, whatever. I'm not a fan of his or anything, okay? He just happened to I be would in. say that whenever so I see Terminator, I'm like, oh, I forgot I that Arnold Schwarzenegger was in this. But it was my first time seeing one of those movies. What? You gotta You've see Terminator and Terminator? Terminator 2, Patty. Well, the first two came out before I was even born. I know, but come on. It's Terminator. James Cameron. Boys probably like it, but I'm sure most girls don't give two craps about Who's it. Who's narrow-minded now? It was directed by the same person who did Titanic. James Cameron. Titanic. Oh, you mean Raise the Titanic. 1980, directed by Jerry Jameson. But York doesn't know what the movie Titanic is. for Airport 77 and The Deadly Tower. You probably know this already, but The Deadly Tower was based on the 1966 Texas Tower Sniper incident. I learned about it at the FBI Academy in Quantico. In the film, Kurt Russell Ooh. plays Charles Joseph Whitman, the assailant. He really brought the character to life. Kurt with Russell. awe-inspiring Every 11-year-old girl's favorite actor. That's the What's end. What's wrong, oh, Patty? Nope. 
I'm just trying to talk about Terminator 3, that movie you saw. <laughs> Rise but of the Machines. You're not paying any attention. So be it. If you're not in the mood to talk, then let's return to the investigation. It's a shame, though. We really wanted to hear more about the films you saw, didn't we, Zach? It's a beautiful day, Patty. Still going, really? huh? Seems kind of normal to me. Now that you mention it, yes, it is a normal day. I just felt like saying that. What? You know, sometimes you really get on my nerves. All right. I think that's all we got then. <laughs> York's got a, a heavy, like, little brother energy in this game. Like, he's annoying just for the sake of being annoying, and I love it. He does have that Josh energy. I don't like hospitals. Why not? They soup folks up with medicine, cut them up, and then they try Oh, no, like she's an anti-masker! I'm right about that, you know. It goes against the laws of nature. Plus... This is a church, so you got a pastor, a servant of God, actually playing God with his patients. I think you have a point there, Patty. Not at all. These days, we can neither determine death nor reproduce without the help of modern medicine. Yeah, our world's become quite an unnatural one. Oh! oh. Excuse me. This is Lucare. You need to watch where you're going. Or someone might end up tripping you. Ra 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 ra. Zack, it's her. The stylish woman who watched Lee die. Oh, I've been waiting for you, lost lamb. Doctor Tyrone Sanders. Uh, hi there, Pastor. <laughs> Would you mind letting go of me? I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. So pitiful. The Lord hungers. Ah, <sighs> here we go again. Uh, what? Pitiful, truly pitiful, my little lamb. Uh, no, neither Zach nor I. Oh, so pitiful, so pitiful. Are Just you doing pitiful. a bit or something? Do you need? Do you need me to feed you your line? The Lord hungers. One can of Spam. One can of red beans. And one can of spinach. You are to offer up the taboo trinity. Taboo? But don't you mean the holy trinity? Oh, how I pity you. Unlike us humans, the Lord never errs. Now, my pitiful agent, Bring forth the taboo trinity. I can just buy you some lunch. For it is the will of the Lord our God. See? I told you this was going to be a pain in the butt. But Zack and I need to go after that stylish woman. His coat. Too late now. <laughs> we need to obey God's will. The Lord hungers. You have mentioned that part. Come on, hurry it up. We need to go. Well, Zack, I don't know what to say. First an oracle, and now an order from God? Maybe this is the trial that will yield the ticket to the goddess. Either way, it looks like we have no choice but to gather the taboo trinity. I guess it just goes to show that small towns are always filled with the bizarre and unpredictable. The scariest part of this is that someone is still eating canned spinach. What is this song? It's like it was recorded on on the phone microphone like four rooms away. Hello, sir. This quest is hell. Have fun. It's fitting then. Have I I've pressed like six buttons. We've been live for half an hour. Heart and soul. Don't forget to get the can spam. Put it in a pot with the red bean spinach and the cramp, cramp, cramp. It has been close to half an hour. 
Gameplay is sleeper. Dialogue is poggy. I do agree. Except when we get to snarf people. They did in the patch. Because I saw the, originally the patch notes. I saw them on r slash northern lion. It was like frame rate improved. I smile. Frame rate. Uh, or not frame rate improved. Uh, skateboard sound lowered. This is pog. Lowered the sound of enemy death noises. This is a betrayal on levels no one's ever seen. <laughs> you got something to say to me, Patty? Hey, Patty. What, Agent York? Nothing. Just felt like... Skirt! And also snarf. Exactly. Exactly. Whatever, dude. Just... Just just drive to red. That's all I ask. 40... No, that's two different things. Hold on, hold on. Alright, let's get one of these first. Drive? I mean, this is like... This is kind of like driving. Oh my god, the poppin'. <laughs> I can't deny it, the frame rate is actually a lot better. Were you thinking about Galena too? And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states? Zach, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. Incredibly vast. It's, it's not that vast. Composed of mountains it's like the fifth vastest. Farmland, with small towns scattered about here and there. That's how America looks to me. Compared to the scale of this entire country. Do you see what I see? Chicago and LA are all microscopic. Sometimes they even feel like figments of my imagination. Think back to what Las Vegas looked like. <laughs> Northern! Okay, Zach. It's time to put our skills to the test. Wow, good idea. Wish I thought of that. It broke. Do not make me walk. I'm begging you. Ugh. Well, Zach, it seems as if we've reached an impasse. What if you go around it? I'm afraid we won't be able to proceed any further like this. Zakari Tiger to DC Eagle. Is everything all right? Hello, Melvin. Sadly, my darling just gave out on me. Congratulations. Your darling? You mean... Yes, that's right. My beloved skateboard. I know the chances are slim, but do you happen to know of any establishments in town that can repair skateboards? Please, I hope this doesn't defend you. Neither Zach nor I would ever dare to assume that a remote country town like this would have a skateboard shop in it. We know this town's a piece of garbage, but... But perhaps you have at least one eccentric who likes to tinker with them in their spare time. I know, it, like, this is probably overly simplified. But isn't a skateboard like a piece of wood and four screws? I know just the person. Double bass player by night, trick master by day. God blessed her with two talents. And her name is Emma Sanders. Emma? <laughs> That's right. She's past the Sanders adopted daughter and was also Lee Clarkson's best friend. Emma really knows her stuff. She's got tools and a mountain of parts. I'm sure she'll be able to help. How much is it to replace my... Uh, I owe you one, Melvin. My trucks. $500? Zach, I never thought we'd find our very own skateboard mentor out here in the sticks. Let's head straight to Emma. All right, but I got to run. What is it, Zach? Why didn't I just ask the sheriff to tow away the old cars? But isn't it obvious? 
I want to overcome this obstacle using my own strength. In fact, I want to soar over it. <laughs> I can get down with that. Oh, hello. Patty, you live in a very peaceful town. You sure about that? Because I'm not. <sighs> That's it, huh? That's the skateboard button? Alright, where's where's Skateboard City? Emma's Skateboard Workshop. Oh my god! Where's the Uber? You can't fast travel until you get to a balloon. Oh, from the frozen food station. Sorry, not Uber, Wyvern. Ah, silent concrete. My favorite. Please. Just a little bit more Stam, Agent York. Is it the other side? <sighs> you know, it's a good time for conversation, you're right. What do you think of Man of Steel? I've never seen it, but I will tell you, I feel like Superman Returns gets a bad rap. I don't think it's a great movie, but uh, I think it's better than it, it gets credit for. Please let me go. Yeah, it's got Kevin Spacey in it, okay? It came out in 2006. We didn't know. Unfortunately, for a bad guy, he was in a lot of really, really good movies. Seven, great movie. American Beauty, kind of a relic now, but at the time was very good. Usual Suspects. It's true, K-Pax is pretty good. He wasn't a lot of stuff. He is in Austin Powers 3. He plays Dr. Evil, temporarily. Incredible. Le Carre got Uber faster than Vancouver did. Dude, does it go? It goes straight to the bowling alley. Let's go. Whoops, that's not sprint. Still a long trip, but... What have you been watching lately? Kate and I are up to season four of The Office. We just got to the dinner party. One of my favorite episodes of, uh, of any television show ever, I think. I love it. I was laughing so hard. I forgot that I watched like up to season four when it aired. But when he's like, I finally broke down and bought a plasma TV and then the camera turns and it's like 12 inches and then he goes uh, you know and if you got a lot of people and you need some more space and he push pushes it into the wall oh that's good stuff 
That's a $200 plasma TV you just killed. Good luck paying me back on your $0 a year salary plus benefits, babe. It's a good episode. It, it's like the office is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But the dinner party episode for me is so much far and above the quality of every other episode that I'm like, man, it's good. It reminds me of like, it, anybody here watch the Larry Sanders show at all? Or am I just 100 years old? Yes. Like the Larry Sanders show is one of the best comedy shows ever made, for sure. But the episode where Larry is sick and they have to have Hank do the show is like, there were 10 out of 10 episodes before, but that one is like a 40 out of 10. It's hard to watch the rest of the show after because that one is so good. We made it. Larry did the dub. Hey, Agent York. I feel like someone's in there. No way. That would be surprising. Let's go and see. It does not have a laugh track. It's an HBO show. Her shirt really says baptize, huh? Huh? What do y'all want? I'm kind of busy here. Emma Sanders. Hi there. Are you Emma? Yeah. Who are you? Francis York Morgan. I'm an FBI special agent. Please call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? So, what does the FBI want with little old me? I already told the police everything I know about Lee's. Emma, I haven't come here to talk to you about Lee's. Although I suppose it's sort of connected in a way. <laughs> My darling is broken, and I need you to fix her. <laughs> you call your board your darling? I never heard that one before. All right, let me see it. I'll try and assess the damage. Uh, the truck's broke. Let me save you 30 seconds. I replaced all your trucks, wheels, and gave you some brand new deck tape. Also, you were missing a tail guard, so I put one on for you. Not, not necessary, I don't At have a tail. you be able to do a few tricks here and there without any risk of damage. Well, what do you think? It's beautiful, Emma. The wheels were scraped down and the base plate screws were all about to fall out. Oh, and the axles were also warped. It was pretty much in critical condition. It's funny because the game told me many times it had 100%. Now what I want to know is how did it get that way? Well, my car was stolen on my way here from Houston. So I switched over to my darling and rode her here instead. <laughs> you know, you're crazier than you look. Emma, would you mind answering another crazy question for me? Skateboarding hot dog! I want to use this board to soar, literally. Would you mind teaching me a trick that would allow me to do so? Um, you mean you want to do a wally? Ooh, well I'd be happy to teach you how, but it's too cramped in here. Hmm... Oh, I know where we should go. It's very far away. You want to learn too? You sure? Seems like you're interested. <laughs> Whatever. I know you're just going to come along anyway. That is so what she does. You should at least learn the basics. Is that when they... <laughs> when they wrote this scene, the voice actor had already recorded all of her lines. So... They're just like, she's shy now. Even though she talks all the time outside of that scene. 
abandoned factory. Okay, Agent York. Now we should have enough room to practice. I'll show you how it's done first, then you just practice till you learn how to do it, okay? This game's very minigame rich, huh? It's like it's paced the exact opposite way as Grand Theft Auto. Unbelievable. Grand Theft Auto is like, here's the main quest, and by the way, you could play tennis if you want. You could you could go bowling. You could run on the treadmill. This game's like, what main quest? You gotta jump your skateboard over this over this half wall. Okay, press L at the right timing and soar. You can gain access... No, you can access skateboard courses from any of the special graffiti marks. Collect all the flags before time runs out to win. Collect every flag quickly will boost your score. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you, you say. You didn't even twitch when you saw... Hey, 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 I'm, we're skating here! I'm ready. Acceleration's a little low. I'm really trying. Oh! Oh no, it's too much, it's too much, dude! Yo, what a turn, though. <laughs> oh, this is... It's an incredible feat, I'll tell you that much. It's an incredible feat. Excuse me? <sighs> Gotta work on your handling a little bit, but otherwise, not looking too bad here. Here we go, here we go! Okay, we're gonna... Oh, you know what? There you go, that's how you do a 180 in this game. That's too much air, brother. That is too much air. Thread the needle. Hold on, I do not think I'm stuck. I do not think I'm stuck. I think if you get yourself in the right position and mash L... Oh! <laughs> Oh, or we could just do that. <laughs> we did it. That's good enough for a first aid kit. Oh, no author medal, though. You learn a new skateboard trick. Wally. -E. Do a Wally -E to get to the abandoned train tracks. Okay. Thank you, Emma. That was perfect. Yeah. Took the words right out Thank of my you, mouth. Emma. I only learned that new trick thanks to your guidance. Now I'm sure that Zack and I will be able to reach our destination without any trouble at all. Thank you for assisting in the investigation. <laughs> Glad to be of service. If your board breaks again, or you feel like customizing it a bit more, just stop on by my workshop. Will do. I'm pretty much always there during the day. Because the game demands it. I'm also taking some time off school because of what happened with Lise. Skating and playing music are the only things that help me. Crawling stay. in my skin. It's true in what is real. Zach, did you see the expression on her face? She works hard to act cheerful, but she's yet another person who was hurt by the tragedy. Lisa's death is like wildfire, spreading embers of sadness throughout the entire town. Wow, you got such a way with words. Incense has been unlocked. Has been been unlocked. Skating has been been unlocked. 
for the love of skating has been been unlocked. <laughs> By the way, skirt! No, it doesn't work. Alright, here we go. Should have gotten that balloon, huh? Probably should have gotten that balloon. If this town has a symbol, it's got to be that bridge hanging over the bayou. Lift bridges are truly a rarity. Reminds me of Duluth, Minnesota. Remember what happened there? That man went to such great lengths to collect his victims' tongues. You know, the one who would French kiss them every day as they slowly decompose. That old as I drove him to the station dance. after his arrest, he started lecturing me on the proper way to give someone a kiss. Anyway, back to Duluth. They have a famous lift bridge there called the Aerial Lift Bridge. The lift bridge here is the first one we've seen since then. But this one looks a lot smaller than the Aerial Lift Bridge. It's smaller... Sorry. <laughs> I didn't think that it would hit. That. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pull out my Predator vision. Alright. You could just stand still. Yeah, but then 99% of the game is just standing in one place. Here. Take me to... We were going to the crab shack last... Or the crawfish shack last time. Where the heck was that? Can I zoom out, please? Thank you. Where the heck was the crawfish shack? It was close to this, wasn't it? So I got a new strategy. We're just gonna drive towards the red things. How about that? 98%? What happened? Hey, wanna talk about bridges? Let's Why? do it. I've become obsessed with bridges, Zach. And there's no turning back now. Remember what we saw on our way here? Back when we were driving that hybrid car before we switched over to the skateboard. We passed over the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, the longest bridge over water in the entire world. That can't Remember be the true. sudden downpour that made it impossible for us to see the road? The rain was so torrential that we couldn't see more than a few miles ahead of us. I'm sure local drivers are used to that sort of thing. They were all going normal speeds. I bet that scene reminded you of a certain film, or perhaps a certain person. Violent City, 1970, directed by Sergio. His references Salido. are off the I charts. I saw it on TV when I was a kid, so I don't remember it very well. But I definitely remember that it featured a bridge, a long bridge, during the New Orleans part. That's the one thing I remember. That bridge must have been the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, and the film starred Charles Bronson. From Death Wish. Charles. Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson. What an amazing sound. You couldn't possibly find another man whose name matches his appearance so perfectly. Yes, yes, of course I know that Charles Bronson isn't his real name. Charles Dennis Buczynski. That's his real name. But he's Bronson. Period. Zach, what's your favorite <laughs> what about Bronson David film? Schwimmer? Death Wish? The Magnificent What did I Seven? tell you? Rider on the Rain? Or Farewell Friend? They're all masterpieces. But... To me, his greatest work lies elsewhere. That's it, Zach. No wonder we get along so well. I don't care what anyone else says. His greatest film by far is 10 to Midnight, 1983, directed by J. Lee Thompson. Oh There's no realism to be found in this movie, but that's what makes it so great. One might even call it a fantasy masterpiece. It was certainly filled with unprecedented fantasy compared to other police thrillers, that's for sure. It's a police you know, thriller? I thought it was like Lord of the together. Rings. Let's hurry up and solve this case so that we can go rent the DVD. That's incredible. All right, our first location, Ezra Fazuli. Seamless. Excuse me. Oh, we already have this one unlocked. You got something for me? It's a beautiful day, Patty. Nope. Really? Seems kind of no. Nine out of ten monologue. Now that the dialogue is fixed, it does seem like he says more interesting stuff instead of just one lollipop, two lollipops, three lollipops. 
Do you carry any canned goods here? Should be pretty apparent. This is a, a canned goods emporium right here. What are you looking canned for? Canned goods? The vermin of the grocery store? Nay, I think not. Understood, Mirror. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Wait! <laughs> You can't say that. Yes. I can see it. I can see the canned good thou seeketh. How intriguing. Well then, where is the canned good I seek? Up thou'st but, and around thine corner. In a place where no man could ever peddle it. I see. In a place where it can't be bought from a person. Got it, Mirror. Twas but a trifle, for the Lord hungers, doth he not? Zack, it's in a vending machine. <laughs> it appears that God wants us to go on a wild goose chase all around town. He's too smart. He refuses to play your games. Buy canned spinach from a vending machine somewhere in town. You sell... Oh my god. I didn't know you sold light guns here. Love to... Love to buy canned spinach out of the vending machine. It's a nice little snack. Sometimes, you know, you're, you're out on the town. You got two seconds away from heat stroke. You're like, you know what I need right now? Whole can of spanish. Whole kin of spinach. That's the one. The saddest meal in the world. What's closest? 985, 389, 558. Alrighty. <clears throat> oh! That took 2% of my durability off. Go jump that train. I forgot where it is, okay? So I'm doing the other quest first, I think. If this town has a symbol, nope. it's got to be that... So I heard that one. We'll reset, try again. Were you thinking about Galena too? And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states. Zach. Really? This? This little sidewalk? You can't just jump normally. You, you can only jump when they tell you jumping's okay. One lollipop? Oh my god. Two lollipops? Three lollipops? Don't mind me, Zach. This is how I wake my... <sighs> Making a lot of money. Uh, oh, there it is. Sale. Special sales are for sunburned customers only. So, Mr. York... What do you think of my castle? Pretty cool, ain't it? I've been curious about it since the first time I saw it. You've got excellent taste, Melvin. <laughs> I dub it Lou Crawfish. I'll have you know, crawfish is pretty much its own food group in this town. Insect. Since this store carries all the bare necessities you'll need for daily life, I reckon it was an apt name. 
if it's sundries you're looking for, <laughs> there ain't much you won't find here. Okay. I would like to purchase a can of spam, please. What else you got? Down, 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 Great song. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Mr. York. Spam, huh? You a part of me kind of guy? Seems like entrapment to ask me that question. No, Melvin. I've simply gotten myself tangled up in a little mess. I had to tell you right up. That's Hugh Jackman. The man on this sign is Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. That is Hugh Jackman. This is traced from Hugh Jackman's face. Look at that. You don't see it? Who who does it look more like? John Hamm? That, that looks way more like Hugh Jackman than John Hamm. I can see a little Pierce Brosnan, but way more Hugh Jackman. Young Clint Eastwood, I could definitely see as well. I could see young Clint Eastwood on that. George Clooney? At... Absolutely not. This is either young Clint Eastwood or Hugh Jackman. It does not look like David Bowie. I'm telling you, bring him closer so I can take a look. That's Wolverine. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to go with him. Stop! Excuse me. You can't make me... Do you have face blindness? Very rude. If anything, I recognize faces more than the average person. That's how I know that that one lady with the milk from uh, Mysterium looks so much like Will Poulter from Bandersnatch. Oh, I get it, Mr. York. The Lord hungers, right? Yes, apparently the Lord is starving, and I'm a <laughs> lamb with no sense of direction. Done. Next. This one's only 300, 290. We can do these. 1,200! Fetch Quest City. If this town has a symbol, it's got to be that bridge hanging over the bayou. Lift bridges are truly a rarity. Reminds me of Duluth, Minnesota. Remember what happened there? That man went to such great lengths to collect his victims' tongues. You know, the one who would French kiss them every day as they slowly decompose. As I drove him to the station after his arrest, he started lecturing me on the proper way to give someone a kiss. Anyway, back to Duluth. Yeah, keep it going, have keep a it going. This lift bridge there called the Aerial Lift Bridge. The lift bridge here is the first one we've seen since then. But this one looks a lot smaller than the Aerial Lift Bridge. Its smaller size was most likely chosen due to the width of the river and the sea level of this area. No the way. height and structure of a bridge is what determines which sort of boats can travel down the river. Normal bridges' base heights are set at a higher point so that boats can freely pass underneath them. But I imagine it would be difficult to create a bridge with a large arch here due to the river width and the sea level. You an engineer That's why now? we're seeing all these mobile bridges, such as lift bridges and draw bridges around here. As far as Louisiana goes, it appears that they've built mobile bridges over most of the bayous. Fascinating, isn't it, Zach? So many different types of bridges. I'm curious to learn even more about bridges now. Let's do some detailed research next time we get the chance. All right. You can just play Death Stranding. Look at that. Textbook. 
No, 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 no. It wasn't out in 2005. It was merely a glimmer in Hideo Kojima's eyes. Dude was still composing Snake Eater. There can be only one. He's running in time with the music. Hold on, what you got here? I gotta know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I gotta know. What are you selling? You know what? Lock that. Thank you. Whatever it is, it's 450. Olives, new and turmeric, and rage. That sounds nice. Yo, what's going on with the missing sign? <laughs> Man, this is a bop. Fourth is prawn salad. That sounds nice. Oh, it's Hugh Jackman, dude! Where did he come from? Ugh, the air out there don't feel right today. You feel it too, honey? That's Hugh Jackman! Is this place a bowling alley or a restaurant? Oh my lord, what's wrong, honey? Can't tell the difference? Oh my lord, by the way. It says restaurant right there on the outside. And how do you explain that then? That's so the customers can bowl while they eat. Convenient, ain't it? <laughs> if you want to bowl, honey, you'll have to ask Mrs. Carpenter to open up the lane for you. But if you just want to eat, then all you need to do is call my name. Got it? <laughs> oh. Duck hash. Nineteen dollars USD in two thousand and five in small town Louisiana. Are you insane? Yeah, the sign says four fifty. <laughs> Alexis, could I have some red beans and rice? Oh my lord. Sorry, honey, but no can do. We only serve red beans and rice on Monday. It seems operationally inefficient. That's a meal you eat when you're busy, like folks usually are on Monday. It's been a tradition here in Louisiana for as long as I can remember. Wait, honey, don't tell me. You're the type who does your laundry every day? I just want to eat some red beans and rice. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord, incoming. Oh. Tradition, Zach. This is it. The Deep South. Louisiana. We need to obey tradition here and come back on Monday. Oh my god. Are you insane? What day is it today? Wednesday? How, how can we tell? In the top left of that, it says. Oh my god! I have to sleep for four days? Or smoke? That's, that's a $600 cost! That's four days at the hotel. You're telling me that on Sunday you go to the grocery store and you buy all of the red beans and rice. And then you use them all on Monday? They're like some of the least perishable goods on earth. You don't have any red beans and rice? I'll even cook them if you just give me the raw sundries.
It's truly insane. Yeah, I hope the Lord's doing intermittent fasting. It's going to be a couple of days before he, he stops hungering. No, it didn't freeze. It's just how long it takes. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Alright, so our only remaining one is M26. Get ready for a long conversation. We are traveling at like... Can somebody do the conversion for me? I think we're traveling 15 meters a second. That seems really fast. So, what do you think of him? Yes, I'm talking about him. Unda, is the skeletal gentleman friend or foe? Or does he merely exist outside the realms of either? That's like 30 miles an hour. But it's clear oh, that baby. he'll be the key to uncovering this case's mysteries. That's what my soul tells me. How's Mahjong going? By the way, Zach, oh. Hoongan feels very familiar feels to me. me. You might even say he reminds me of someone. That's yes, right. I think I Young see Forrest Whitaker. A cheerful, wise, yet also mysterious African-American who appeared in a variety of different films. My mind must be overlapping him with the skeletal gentleman. Do you remember his name? Ah, yes, that's it. Scatman Crothers. Oh, I in got it wrong again. In 1980, he played Dick We've Howard heard this China one! Get new night. material! Anyway. I hit Adept 2 in, uh, in Mahjong Soul. I haven't been playing very much, but I've been winning a lot. I've been winning a lot. Like, I've won seven of my last ten games. Oh, that's my mistake, I suppose. Do we have to go? Yeah, we go across, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. How sweet the sound that saved a York like me. <laughs> Can you share the secret to winning Mahjong? It's actually the Earth's simplest game. Uh, win your first hand and then just chi and pawn like a madman and get all symbols over and over and over. Get, exactly. Get some babby hands. I, I do wonder what's going on with his, uh, his, his shadow. Are you kidding me, dude? We're on the wrong side. You have to jump the train car. Yep! I don't know where the freaking train car is, dude! It's on the train track. Where's the train tracks? Here, guide me. WHAT IS THIS, DUDE?! It's freaking huge! Oh, son of a bitch. Patty, get out of here! It's too dangerous! That's it? It just dies? You don't even- you don't even get anything? Oh, wait. <laughs> Alligator tail. <laughs> Hello? Hello, train track? Up the road, then take a right. Okay. Okay. Was this game made recently or just published recently? both. Though it is hard to believe this is a contemporary game.
Look at that. Incredible. It's like just like climbing up the flying buttress in Anne Orlando. So is it an indie publisher? Yeah, like kind of. Just wanted to make sure I could get some speed and send it. Oh, we're free. <laughs> Incredible. So what's going on down here? Oh no. Oh my god. Hey, we did it. You still here, huh? Dog fur. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Oh, sorry, I forgot to loot. Dog tail. This game is giving me a massive headache. Oh, I understand. Yo, that's Deadly Premonition 1 music, dude. Look, it's very simple. If the enemies appear red on my map, we're taking them down. We gotta do what we gotta do to get these dog skulls. How dare you. Seamless combat. What else have you seen on that sci-fi movie channel? <laughs> Agent York, not now. That? Discussing movies is one of the most basic forms of communication in our country. What time period do you live in? It's always been that way in every era. In this country, all dialogues always. Yep, that merciful, merciful. You know what? Screw this. Good luck catching me. You okay back there, Patty? What are you guys growing? Uh, water? Seems like it's a, it's a banner harvest this hey, year. Hey, Agent York. Are you sure you really want to talk to this guy? You gotta live in a pretty messed up situation to have a payphone attached to your house. Me. Patty, there's no need to worry. Just hide behind me and you'll be fine. Chuck Thompson. You were the first person to find Lisa's body, correct? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Ah, uh, Agent York. Seems like he ain't in the mood for talking. <laughs> Chuck Thompson, may I have a word with you? I'm looking for the one who fired the pistol at heaven. Oh, that got him going. You trying to say I gotta aim up to shoot because of my height? Hmm? Chuck Thompson. Not at all. 
I was merely quoting the skeletal gentleman's oracle. Skeletal gentleman? You ain't making a lick of sense. What do you all want anyway? What do y'all come here to waste my precious time for? I'm currently running a race around town thanks to you, who fired the starting shot. The murderer and I are competing to see who can cross the finish line first. Unfortunately, the murderer got a generous head start on me. If he gets away from me, I'll lose. But if I can catch up to him, then I'm sure I'll win. That's how races work. So please, Chuck, tell me, how did you find Lisa's body? Her body was hidden under a bridge on the bayou, very close to the Mississippi River. It's got to be at least a few miles away from your farm in this swamp, right? Now, the Clarksons are the folks who gave me the damn permission to farm crawdaddies here in the first place. Now, why the hell would I ever want to kill that little girl? It's like a combination what were you doing out there? Creole Brooklyn accent. You know, lately I've been seeing a queer boat around these parts. Ain't too big. Probably only holds five or six. And it's got a deep draft. Oh Assholes think they can God. just drive right through my turf, right through my dang crawdad farm. So you gave chase, <laughs> which led you to Lisa's body. Yeah, that's right. Fucking poachers. Where did the poachers go? Oh, hell if I know. Fog was thick that day, thicker than usual. He does sound like Froggy oh, Fresh. I sight of them. I don't I know, care I'm if you're big, big I'll fight you a lot. I felt a chill run up my spine. And I knew. So I drove up to the bank and got out. And there she was. Strung up on that there altar. Line. Did you know Lise personally? Yeah, I knew her a little. She never showed me no disrespect, unlike the rest of those damn Clarksons. They so rotten I can smell them from here, same as the shit at the bottom of this here swamp. <laughs> heavy, heavy. Yeah. They was a little better when their boy Lenny was still around. Lenny? Yeah. Leonard, PJ's son. He never showed me no disrespect, neither. And he's the one who gave me permission to farm here. Dang old Lenny. But... Oh. Well, ever since he left home, his whole family's gone straight down to shitter. Arthur Fist. Lisa was the only decent one left. She was wise, just like Lenny. Ain't right, I tell you. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Now I'm done talking, goddammit. <laughs> go on, get the hell out of here. I thought we were making Philip progress. something about his son leaving home. That must be Lenny. Did you know about that, Patty? Everyone in town knows about it. By the way, Zack, do you remember what we saw when we were skipping stones? That boat with the dragonfly crest. Zack, no matter where we go in this town, we're constantly assaulted by information related to the Clarkson family. Just where is that skeletal gentleman trying to lead us? Well, he's leading us towards one heck of a hotel bill right now. We gotta wait four days to purchase the most common foods on planet Earth. Airboat ride has been unlocked. We successfully found the one who fired the oh. pistol at heaven. <laughs> now we need to visit the White Hall of Beds. You know, Zach, it almost feels like we're orienteering here. Doesn't it remind you of our training in Quantico? Nothing personnel, Patty. Quick save, if you don't mind. Hey, a low-quality plate. Thanks a bunch, brother. 
Looks like a case of bad timing, Zack. Let's come back later. Oh, maybe the owner is not home? What do you think would happen? Yo, we're in the quadruple digits now. Let's go. More garbage? No, this is a campsite, isn't it? It is. You got something for me? Oh! Crawfish tail. Of course we're gonna take the airboat. It's not even a, a question. Monday to Thursday, 1 to 8 p.m. Friday to Saturday, 1 to 5 p.m. Closed on Sundays. That's no way to run a business. It's a beautiful day, Patty. Really? Seems kind of normal to me. Now that you mention it, yes, yes it is a normal day. I just felt like saying that. What? You gotta you wait know, six minutes. You really get on my nerves. <laughs> I do have to wait six minutes. All right. Hey, Patty. What, Agent York? Nothing. Just felt like saying that. So you clearly love TV oh, shows, here we but go. what about movies? Movies? We don't even have a movie theater around here. We've so I heard only this watch one what before. I managed to catch on TV. Like what? For some reason, the only movie channel we get... Hey, Agent York. Yes? Is that... Sorry, never mind. I think I was just saying things. Why... why write that? Hey, Patty. What, Agent York? Nothing. <whistles> By the way, Patty, what do you usually do when you're at home? Is this an interrogation? Oh, no. I just figured that since we're working together now, <laughs> it'd be a good idea to learn a little more about you. Should an adult male like you really be asking a little girl this kind of question? I feel like I heard a story about this sort of thing on the news once. There's a time and a place for everything. You know exactly who I am, and I've also introduced myself to your father. Besides, you're the one who said you wanted to come with me. He's got her there. I was there. just kidding, jeez. You're an FBI special agent. Why would I ever need to worry? You shouldn't automatically trust someone just because- We had that one last week. Excuse me, I'd like to get on the airboat, please. They lied to you, it's not unlocked yet. That's fine, I'll just take an Uber back into town. Uh, I don't know where to go. Hold on, now that I think about it, I'm like, can we just sleep here for like four days? Do you do you mind? Uh, <laughs> it is your property, but I'm just gonna take a four-day snooze if you don't mind. Okay, there's one. Gotta get a new sleeping bag every day. B.O. When you have body odor, you will attract flies. The flies will never leave you, which will groan, uh, gross out the townspeople, and it'll allow some creatures to notice you faster, take a shower, Zach, or I use can't items. I still have to pay the hotel fee? The sleeping bag broke. Time for a quick meal, if you don't mind. I was thinking that today, for our one meal, we may consume somewhere in the vicinity of a dozen lollipops. Okay. And then perhaps, uh... Well, I mean, if we're gonna use a sleeping bag, we might as well just go back to the hotel.
At least they have a shower back there. Hotel costs money? Yeah, but I'm still paying for the hotel even when I sleep uh, under the stars. My shower's broken too. I don't know if they fixed it yet. Thank you. What? Oh, he doesn't like me because I stink. Do the shower fix quest? I thought we told the the concierge and he was going to fix it while I was out. Whatever. We might as well sleep first. And then we'll only need to do one shower at the end. Or, or chew one stick of gum. It's expensive, don't get me wrong. 158 bucks down the drain. It's Friday. This is just a baffling choice. And, like, the worst part is we need to go get some food now, too. Oh, my God. Can you change? Look, I'm not worried about that for the time being. I would just like to... I would just like to make it to Monday. Defeat 30 killer bees. The elusive water valve. You know what? We can do this today. Monday to Friday, 2 to 5 and 10 to midnight. Goal is hear something from concierge. Because right now... Okay, no, no problem. We'll eat real quick at Lananas. Gonna be another hot one today. I'm a pro chef, mister. I can whip you up the finest Creole food no matter what kind of ingredients I got. But this, this is something gigantic. Hey, pros never panic. Just gotta stay calm and think. B.O. damages, $50. What? <laughs> My restaurant serves only the highest quality. If only the real world looked like that. The real deal. Which ain't too easy to find in a backwoods town like this. Did I hear wrong then? Set me straight, would you, chef? I thought that Cajun food was the norm in Acadiana. Why would you go out of your way to serve Creole food here? When I was a young'un, I trained myself at a famous restaurant in New Orleans. A famous restaurant? That's incredible. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called the Wendy's. Was it Arnaud's? Antoine's? No, don't tell me. I got it. Brennan's, right? None of those, actually. But that place taught me how to really cook. Go on and try something, you'll see. Very intriguing. I would like to order, please. Um, you know what? It... They'll fill you to the brim. Go ahead and give me some barbecued shrimp, please. That's a cup of coffee. That food was unbelievable. I see you weren't lying about undergoing training at that famous restaurant. Ah, now you just trying to embarrass me, mister. I still appreciate it, though. And you must have undergone some rigorous training in order to gain such refined technique. You put so much care into preparing everything just right. And your manipulation of that low temp flame in order to bring out such a pleasant fragrance, simply perfect. This is true Creole food. You have to tell me now, which famous restaurant did you train yourself at? Applebee's. <laughs> Come on, chef, we need to know. Zach and I are begging you. Ah, you drive a hard bargain, mister. All right, 
I reckon I can give you a hint. Really? Oh, just a hint now. Fine, we'll take it. Just say it. It's the restaurant that serves the most famous fried chicken in all of Louisiana. It's Popeyes. Crispy, crunchy. You know what I'm talking about? Bonafide fried chicken. No, you can't mean... Oh, yeah! I'll bet they worked you pretty hard. Mm-hmm, you betcha. So that's how you acquired the mental fortitude necessary to cook such amazing food. I have it on good authority that Popeye's chicken is the shiznit. Oh, my time there taught me just how tough city life really is. Amazing. Zach, did you hear all that? That's an incredible story, David. You really are a true chef. Both Zach and I have given you our official approval. Health maintenance bonus. Ten dollars. If only it worked like that. Hold on. You got spinach in here? Nope. Not a <laughs> single can of spinach in sight, Zach. Let's try somewhere else. Hold on. Is it 2 p.m.? No. We need to. We need to wait an hour. Then we can fix our water, so we can shower. Then we can stop paying the $50 stink tax every day. Isn't that my room? No, that's my room. Alright. One hour, please. One hours. song this is the most complicated quest it really is landlord super you can't just do a quest before you do the quest you gotta take a shower but you can't take a shower because your water is broken but you can't fix your water unless it's between monday and friday at some very specific times all this just so we can get some red beans and rice so we can complete the get the game going a little further hope you're having a no you stop my water's broken good day I assume you are enjoying the esteemed water pressure of our hotel. Does it look like I'm enjoying the water pressure of our hotel? I got fly JPEGs swinging around me. Unfortunately, it seems like the shower in my room is broken. I'm deeply sorry to hear that, Mr. Morgan. I'll call a specialist and have this matter sorted immediately. How long will it take them to get here? Well, I'm certain they'll be here by next week. Next week? Yes, sir, by next week without a doubt. Our hotel was built over 200 years ago, in a very classical way, I might add. Therefore, any manner of repairs or adjustments will require a very elite type of specialist. So I have to wait until next week for you to repair my shower? Indeed, sir. Can't you just put me in a different room? All rooms in our hotel share the same source of water. So there's no working showers in the whole hotel right now. Are there any other hotels in town? Our hotel is the only one. But if you're in a bit of a hurry, you might be able to adjust the water valve on the third floor next to the kitchen. Please let me know if there's anything I may do to be of service, Mr. Morgan. Are you telling me you need a specialist to turn the valve? This is insanity. The free market, sir, the free market will not stand for this. Doubletree and Hilton are gonna eat your lunch. What am I paying you 150 American dollars a day for in the year 2005, where that might as well be a million dollars? Is this not where the kitchen is or the restaurant and the kitchen on two different floors? Next to the kitchen. It's in Casa Pineapple. Okay. That's He just wants me to stay stinky so I keep paying the stink tax. If you'll excuse me, I need to enter the kitchen. No, thank you. But thank you for the offer. Hello, Danny. You again? 
What happened to your arm, Danny? You had both of them the other day, didn't you? Shut up! Ain't none of your business. Just get out of here. I can't do that. I'm investigating the murder of your daughter, and your ex-wife is a person of interest. You really expect me not to ask about how you lost your entire arm? And on top of that, your ex-wife was... I said, shut the hell up. You want me to beat your ass? My treasure is still my woman. She ain't my ex-wife. Excuse me, Danny. Allow me to rephrase myself. Your wife, Galena Clarkson, was murdered by someone. I'd love to hear your side of the story. Are you soft in the head? This is Lou Carre. You think I'd ever tell an FBI asshole like you anything? This town belongs to the Clarksons. This ain't none of your business, you goddamn outsider. Now get out of my sight. Zack, did you see his attitude? He wasn't irritated over losing his wife or his daughter. He was clearly regretting something. Perhaps he lost something else in addition to his arm. Shall we go and look for it? It may be related to the case, or it may just be a personal item of his. But if we can find something that would cheer him up, he might give us some new information related to the case. It's up to you, though. I'm always in agreement with you. Just need to go to the kitchen, if you don't mind. B.O. damages! Sixty dollars?! And that's what I'm talking about. I didn't say anything. You can't get fine eating like this at any of those diners out there. <laughs> So make sure you enjoy <laughs> I need to... I need to go to the... Oh, there it is! That's just it, okay. That should do it. There are so many pipes that I'm not sure which one is the right one to touch, but I'm not about to let that stop me. And I doubt that any hotel guest would ever complain about the shower pressure being too strong. Zach, we're still missing some puzzle pieces. Here's something from cons- oh my god! Every time I talk to the concierge! Cost me sixty dollars, dude. <laughs> I beg you. I beg you. Hold on. We we have a lint roller we can use to, to make ends meet for the time being. Or not. I sincerely hope. No, I'm not having a comfortable stay. I'm deeply sorry, sir, but the water won't be fixed till next week. I already tried to adjust the water valve on the third floor. And this failed to fix the shower? Exactly. That's why I'm here talking to you right now. Unfortunately, I am but a mere concierge. All I can do now is wait for the specialist to arrive. Or perhaps the chef or the bellboy can help you think of an alternative solution. you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go get my mint gum out of my storage. <laughs> They're draining me dry, dude. I don't even have any gum, dude! Oh my god! I gotta go back and talk to him to buy the gum! I sincerely I sincerely oh my, oh my oh my god Very good sir please You had to you had to hit the bell if you wanted to talk to him the right way that's my bad Mm 
mint gum. Might as well give me 10 of those. You know what? Oh, hold on. If I spend all my money, they can't tax me, right? Serving you is... Please do let me... I can't pay $70 every time I talk to somebody. This is insanity. We're still... Oh my god, dude. Gotta have a second piece. Good hygiene bonus. Well, let's see. What? You need a ride? Okay, I'll call her in a jiffy. Why, Vern? The new cutting edge transportation service. We'll come to you wherever you are. No, I need you to tell me how to fix the water. Immediately. You can't use the bell to talk to them? Oh my god, dude! Who made this? What are you doing? What are you loading? How's the investigation coming? Just don't talk to me. I Thanks can't. Thanks for calling me. Why, Vern? Yes. Now. No, I can't afford to speak with you. I don't know what to do. My my economy's all screwed up. Do I? St my flies have despawned. That seems like a good start. Um, now all I gotta do is sleep for another couple days. So I can fix the shower. I, I, it has to be between 8 and 10 p.m. for me to fix the shower. So I gotta go back and sleep to begin with. You gotta sleep for, for six hours. This is true insanity. You could camp? I guess I could camp to save money. Because people told me that you don't pay the hotel fee. It just pops up hotel fee zero dollars. Thank God we had a grand coming into this. Alright. Where's the bellboy? You are the bellboy. Hello. But don't, for the sure love of God, don't hit course. the button. How are you enjoying the shower pressure, boss? Sadly, I can't enjoy it. Get out of here. It ain't working. The shower won't even give me water, let alone hot water. Well, that ain't right. But boss, you gotta remember now, I'm just a measly little bellboy. In times like this, we gotta wait for that concierge. Ah. What, did you get an idea? Nah, I just remember that something like this happened a while back, too. And it was all due to a problem with the water valve in the corner of the hall on the second floor. I think some numbskull tightened it too much because they were worried about water leaking out. Actually, just forget the whole thing, okay boss? Waiting for the concierge is the best thing to do in times like this, believe me. Someone tightened the water valve in the hallway on the second floor? Get ready to flex some muscle, Zack. What are you doing? 
Excuse me? Oh, okay. Just a... Just the invisible man. No, I'm not gonna wait for the concierge. I need the shower. <laughs> Just as David said, the valve seems to have been over-tightened. But we're good to go now. I made sure to loosen it quite a bit. Oh, hold on. My hungry's almost there. Have we done anything? I guess we did do the skateboard quest today. Eat a hot dog, the government gives you $10 as a health maintenance bonus. Absolutely beautiful. Truly poetic. What? Hear something from Chef? But we didn't even... We didn't even check! Oh my god! You can't hear anything from Chef! Friday after 7.30 p.m. It is Friday at 8.11. So now I might as well just sleep till Monday. Hungry level is too low. I just want to play the game. And we got the flies again. How about that? We have zero dollars. We're about to get kicked out of the hotel like Howard Hughes. Well, hope you enjoyed your last meal. Oh, wait, we got 10 bucks back. Hey, quick, spend it. Spend it before they take it from us. Here, chew some gum real quick. I can't afford to lose it. Ram. Now we should be able to sell things sell things to the concierge. You're not the concierge. Very good, sir. Please. Okay. Honestly, I'm like I think I should sell all of my materials so I can live another day. No? What do you use them for? You'll need it later? Oh my god. Well, I'll tell you, I feel like we don't need poison antidotes. Or anti-numb. We're getting a lot of first aid kits as well. Serving you, please do. I'm not that stinky. I don't think I'm at full stink levels yet. Now I need to consume a meal, please. You can't get so make sure. I need some barbecued shrimp to keep me going, and just save enough money to get to the the beans and rice. Thanks, Mister. Next time you get. A Let me go. 
Dude, whatever. Just chew some more gum. Do we have any more? We have we have two we have three more gums. Okay. Okay. Alright. So I don't know. I think you pay at like noon. So we can we can steal a night's rest from the hotel. Ask the chef how to fix the water. He doesn't answer the question on the weekends, okay? He only answers the question Monday to Friday at very specific times. I will wake up close to lunchtime on Monday. Don't sleep too long or you won't be able to get the beans and rice. Seems like it's okay. Seems like it's okay right now. It's bean day. It's Monday. York is, is nearly starving to death. To be honest with you, I'm committed to Deadly Premonition 2. If somehow we slept until Tuesday, I might not have it in me to beat the game. Go talk to the chef. Oh my god. In 20 minutes, when this loading screen finishes, I will show you why I could not talk to the chef prior to this moment. Every quest has 300 different little things. Oh, you can't talk to the chef. Yeah, the chef's there, but you can't talk to him about the water. He only answers water-related questions in a 45-minute window. Monday to Friday. On Saturday and Sunday, don't talk to him about the water. It's a weekend. From 6 to 8.30 a.m., 11 to 1.30, and 5 to 7.30 is the only time you can speak to the chef about the water. But now, we got to go talk to the bean lady first. We'll get the beans. That's the whole reason we needed the shower in the first place, so we're not paying $80 every time we try to talk to ladies about beans. We're going to go to Alexis's Diner in Lanes, which is right over here. Then tonight, when we come back for dinner, we're going to inquire about the water. It's that simple. How much money do we have? I do not know. How much does beans and rice cost? Oh my lord. You're too stinky for these beans, honey. This is madness. All right. You hellish motherfucker. It's Monday. It's four days later. I scrimped and saved and chewed and spoke and rang the bell and managed to scrape together enough cash to survive until Monday. The air out there don't shut up. Give me the beans and rice. Oh, don't worry. I'm enjoying the food in my own way. No, they, and we, it's stop, stop. The beans and the rice sounds very intriguing, doesn't it, Zach? Okay, can you make us this special dish right away? Oh my lord, how do you expect me to make a special dish that fast? It's been four days. Preparing all the ingredients takes a mighty long time and I don't even have them all in stock. How about I bring you the ingredients you need then? Oh my lord, I see your good looks aren't all you got going for you, honey. You got some real grit and that can go a long way. Anyway, I'm gonna need a total of three ingredients. Would you mind bringing them to me one by one? Here's the first ingredient I need. This is a different quest. It, it has to be a different quest. Okay. Ooh, Shut up! <laughs> oh, 
coming right up. Demon. Honey. Red beans and rice, ten dollars. Oh my god. We've made it. Alexis, <laughs> would you mind keeping the red beans in the can? What? I'll pay the regular price, of course. Oh my lord. Why don't you want me to take them out of the can? They're for an offering, you see. Oh. Why didn't you say so? The Lord hungers. Exactly. As you can see, I'm a pitiful lost lamb. I'm now an I idiot exactly. sandwich. This is nothing but a shameless fetch quest. Oh, it's much more than that. Acquired canned red beans. We did all of. We just spent seven hundred dollars on a can of beans that probably retails for about a buck thirteen. Do you get money for bowling? I just think I need a... I need a break. Hi there, handsome. How's your... Don't talk to me. I'm in a mood. Well then, show me what you got. Okay, five bucks. I can afford that. It's only 10% of my net worth. Select ball. 16 pounds. Thank you. Put it right about here. Just that angle to the inside of the pocket. Slight left spin. Holy shit. That's terrible news. Dead center. That's that's good enough. That's pretty good. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was right in there, dude. There we go. Heavy left spin. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is a tough one too, dude. That's picture perfect. <laughs> All right. Stand just to the right of the pocket. Throw it as straight and as hard as possible. Oh my god! <laughs> Heavy pins, dude. The one went into outer space! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Great pin action. Perfect shot. There it goes into the stratosphere. Spare. Okay, I'm thinking we'd go a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong. Heavy left. It's gonna be a tough game, but that, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That should still be fine. Oh, we're scoring over a hundred. Never forget that I could have gone semi-pro. Oh, we're going hard on this one. Oh, thank God. It's all right. Spares are not strikes. But they're good enough. Is this better than Clubhouse Games Bowling? They're both pretty bad. Oh, 
Now that's the good stuff. In Clubhouse, I just felt like there was no pin action whatsoever. Like, Nintendo UK retweeted a, a video of somebody hitting the pins and literally knocking down none of them. Like, it went right through the center of all the pins and just, like, shuffled them out a little bit. So that's what I think about Clubhouse. Yo, is this a turkey, baby? Turkey! Let's go! This one goes out to whoever said, imagine bowling under 100. I wouldn't know. You're going to have to tell me what it's like. Ooh. That's a four-bagger. Or as we call it in bowling, when we're semi-pro, a fourth. That's beautiful. Yo, we can still get over 200. I found the formula. <laughs> Look at that, baby. That's a 202. All it took was six strikes in a row. Mint gum! Let's go! I'll play again. By the way, where's the money you're supposed to earn for uh, for playing this? I was told you earn money for playing this. Oh, baby. You earn money for stone skipping. You can sell your item? That's true, but I don't think it sells for as much as it costs to play the game. How? Actually, how? The ball traveled through the pin. I don't buy it. Stone skipping, skateboards, and side missions are the best way to earn money in this game. Duly noted. We, I mean, we might have to just do no main quest this week. Are you kidding me, dude? Might just have to skateboard all week. Miss Carpenter's gluing the pins down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh! Dunk. Oh, that's the good stuff. Right in the pocket. Alright. I mean, 202 is very, very doable here. We're setting a new PB. The perfect shot doesn't exist. Oh, yeah? How about that? Put the pin into low grav mode. Reactor up. Now we're talking. So we gotta be 202. It's very doable. It's very doable. Very, very, very doable. Couple more of those. Yeah, when you see the frame drop... Oh, this one might not do it. When you see a frame drop... You know you got it. Any chance for a let's look at of carrion? Zero percent chance. Any chance of a northern lion tries for carrion? 
close to a 100% chance. Got him. Little light on the power. Little light on the power. It's still makeable. Strong as a feather, straight as a board. Here we go. Ah, the pin action. 200, still in our grasp. Thank God. 200, 203 is still in our grasp. Seems pretty good. 203 still in our grasp. Strike to claim it. Strike to claim it. And he got it! <laughs> that is right, I did it! Number five, are you kidding me? Who do you think you are? I am! Dang it right! Acquired oak leaf. Keep Don't even tell me that's so stealing from Dan. Malph and I were quoting Who Do You Think You Are I Am in like 2012. You hey, you shut up there, and talk to me. Perfect timing, Mr. Special Agent. Perfect timing for what? For you to show me some more of those bowling skills. Yes, now that you've gone semi-pro, you can only go up, up, up from here. I don't have much time left. I've been thinking about how I need to find myself a successor. Mrs. Carpenter, do you mean to say that you want me to be your successor? I don't mean to say it, I said it. So I need to take a good look at you and decide whether or not you've got what it takes. Well, you up for the challenge? Your successor, that does sound nice. Zack, honestly, I'm getting butterflies here. It's so strange. I never thought it would feel this good to be complimented about a talent that I never even knew I had. Now you listen up. If you really want to become my successor, you'd better listen carefully to every word I say. I'm going to set up the pins in different ways. If you can knock them all down, I'll officially name you Mr. Special Agent as my one and only successor. Here's the first setup, a 2-7-10 arrangement. It's called a Christmas tree. Now is that a cute name or what? Okay, time to show me what you got. I'm ready. It's a hard split. Hi there, hey. I. How do. Hi there, handsome. Well Holy. then. Split mode. Reward. Killer B Stinger. I know. I'm a doctor too. You want heavy ball, please? Uh, that could have been better. Oh, come on. Come on. 250 per attempt? Are you insane? Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I will pay $2.5 to try again. This could work. This could work. Oh my god, dude. I got just let me do it one more time, okay? There you go, straight as an arrow. Straight as a freaking arrow, that's close enough. That's close enough. Oh! 
250. Some of the best money I've ever spent, quite frankly. Stiff as a board. It's the spin, dude. It's the spin. This 4 FPS spin is impossible. You gotta press the button like four seconds. No! <laughs> four seconds before <laughs> you're supposed to. That is right, I did it. Yahoo. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, yeah! Wheeze, wheeze. I knew you had it in you, Mr. Special Agent. I wasn't wrong about you. The shape of the Christmas tree stands out, so it may look difficult at first, but it's surprisingly easy to knock down. It's really more of a warm-up than anything. A finely made donut. A reward. But Mrs. Carpenter, I thought this was a test to see if I'm good enough to become your successor. Don't be so serious. Sheesh. Told you it's a Joker prequel. But now I feel like a kid who's being taught how to bowl by his grandma. Quiet! If you got time to waste flapping your gums, you're better off spending it on training yourself. We're only just getting started. Now would you please prepare yourself and talk to me when you're ready. Zack, it looks like we managed to complete the first challenge. But there's something about this test that's kind of... No, I'd better not say anything. To her, this is a vital, life-changing event. It'd be simply tactless for me to make fun of it right here in front of her. Let me go. Reward five donuts! Hey, baby. Might as well save. We can sell the donuts to make enough to do another quest. Alright, I think we have to go talk to the chef so we can shower. We'll see what time it is. Where did the money go? I paid about $500 to people because I smelled bad. If that doesn't make sense to you, you're gonna you have one heck of a VOD to watch. Basically, if you stink in the game, the uh, the text says townspeople will like you less. What it should say is every time you talk to a person, they will charge you seventy dollars. It is 11.17. You're only there till 11.30. No, you're there. Oh, he's... That was 10 minutes long? Excuse me. Came out of nowhere. Let's speak. I thought they fixed the frame rate. This is the patch version. It is, uh, it is fixed. Sadly. It would have been nice if they, uh, fixed the BO damage. We have made no progress this week. I'm coming to terms with it. There's 43 minutes left. We still need to find a can of spinach. Somewhere in a vending machine in the town. Try the vending machine here. I did. This one's drinks only, unfortunately. Someone said I think it's in Melvin's basement. I can live with that. And that's what I'm talking about. You can't get... So make sure... No, we're not. S Going 
Gonna be another hot... Yes. Can we talk about my shower, please? Hey, mister, do you like our water pressure? Just what the doctor ordered, ain't it? It appears that the shower in my room is broken. So there's currently no way for me to sample the water pressure that you seem to be so proud of. Hmm. Is that so? I'm a chef, so anything other than food's outside my jurisdiction. You're a true pro, after all. But... I may be able to give you a hint that'll help you fix this problem of yours. Meaning, might be something wrong with the water valve near the bathroom on the first floor. That damned bellboy's supposed to be checking up on it, but he never follows through. I see. Well then, can you have him fix the valve? No can do, Mr. FBI. I'm a pro chef, which means I ain't gotta do jack squat outside of cooking some good genuine food. Then what should I do? You're an FBI agent, ain't you? Fixing up a valve should be a piece of cake to a fellow like you. Zack, it looks like we'll need to masquerade as plumbers for a bit if we wish to enjoy a good shower here. This whole place is going down. First you. Then everybody in this room. Then me. First floor by the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? What are you wearing? Here we are. I mean, like... It's inside the bathroom? Whether it's a restaurant or a hotel, the key to charming your customers is how you present your bathroom. I'm sure you feel the same way, don't you, Zach? Now this, this is the kind of bathroom a person can really get excited about. All right, weirdo. It might even trump the one we saw in that drug dealer's house in Austin. Remember? The art piece on display in there utilized the natural curves of human ribs in such a novel <laughs> way. It was truly brilliant. There it is. So many valves, but so what? It shouldn't matter if I loosen them all at once. Besides, I'm not a plumber, so it's not my fault if something goes wrong. Flawless logic. Zach, look at this. This is it. This is what you call a shower. Any proper shower needs at least this much pressure, don't you agree? We went as far as masquerading as plumbers, all in order to experience this magical moment. Now we're free to shower ourselves until we drown. Well, we're not free. It's $158 a day. Still, I'm surprised that Trio had the gall to use an FBI agent as a shower repairman. Those three professionals are far craftier than they let on. You notice what they're up to, right? None of them wants to be the one who calls the repairman. So they're all feigning ignorance and getting me to adjust the valve instead. Such an entertaining town. Isn't that right, Zach? Zack, it's a bead. Fixing the shower led us straight to a dazzling jewel. Abyssal Bayou Bead. Darker than the blackest night. One of the five beads. We got one of the five infinity stones. There you go. There you go. Clean shaven bonus, baby! If, if if this doesn't have spinach, I will ask you to tell me where I can go to get it, please. Not a single can of spinach in sight, Zach. Let's try somewhere else. Not a single can. Let's yes, try I somewhere. Know. Yes, I know. It's the vending machine on the street near the frozen food factory. Thank you. I will head to PJ Clarkson's warehouse. Why is he looking for spinach in vending machines? Josh, you wouldn't understand. This is the deep south. In the city, people don't behave like this. 
but in the South, everyone speaks passionately and eats canned spinach out of the vending machine. The Lord hungers, and I'm just a lost little lamb. Here we go, boys! Hold on. I need to visit upon my map. I will overwrite my waypoint. Thank you. Probably want to fast travel? That's where you're wrong, kiddo. Skrrr! Hey, wanna talk about bridges? Nope. Why? Already heard that one. You got another line for me? Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were a mess. All busted up and Wonder why. maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain to cave it all in. There were also a lot of places where large tree roots were pushing up parts of the asphalt and the sidewalk. Those bumps were dangerous even when we still had our car, remember? But this town is different. The streets are all paved so cleanly that we can skate along them without a care in the world. <laughs> and there's hardly any trash or graffiti to be found anywhere. The Clarksons truly do control this place, for better or worse. It's a good example of how allowing certain people to rise to power can have positive effects as well. Also, don't you find that southern people are remarkably friendly, even to total strangers? Both here and in New Orleans, I've been amazed at how cordial everyone is. Is it just the way things are down here? Um, you certainly don't see that sort of thing in New York or D.C. They never stop to chit-chat, especially when ordering food. It's because they they're busy. They say what's necessary, without any decoration. A customer only makes eye contact with the waiter about once every three times they interact. But that's just how it is. Isn't that right, Zach? The human relationships here are as fluid as an inorganic mechanism running on the smoothest, purest oil there is. And it feels strangely comfortable. After spending time in New Orleans and coming here, I think I'm starting to like the Southern disposition. They even have their own breed of bizarre crimes. Murder! And besides, the New Orleans area is famous for its paranormal culture. I'm sure it'll entertain us somehow. It's still a bit of a ways off, but... Perhaps we can also do a little case study for our post-retirement plan. What? You still think it's too early for that? I wouldn't say so. It's never too early to be prepared. Come on, I know you're with me on this one, Zach. Perfect timing. Canned spinach, please? This vending machine does you not carry what God seeks. This vending machine does not carry what God seeks. Let's move on, Zach. It's not this one, it's around the corner. It's a huge warehouse, dude. On the street by the warehouse, not at the warehouse. This is hell. All right, okay, the map's open. Where would you recommend that I, uh, that I go. Up and to the left. Next to Mon. Thank you. Thank you. You can see the icon. Honestly, because it was not an in-game icon, and was instead hard printed onto the map. 
I thought that uh, it was just like paper artifacting. Hello, didn't see you there. Here we go. Any percent spinach run. Canned spinach. There it is. My god. Zack, we finally found our can of spinach. Look, Zack. Even this vending machine is managed by Clarkson Food Delivery Services. But who in their right mind would sell canned goods in a vending machine in the middle of nowhere? Look at the bottle of water. Oh my god. <laughs> I only hope that it's not expired. I feel like dropping cans out of a vending machine is a really good way to give people botulism, too. Take the Taboo Trinity to Tyrone. Of course. Zack, we finally managed to assemble the Taboo Trinity. And it was certainly no small task. I just hope it rewards us with some data that will help us push this investigation forward. Me too. Don't even get me started. 329 for a can of spinach is already bad but then it's 2005 that's probably like 550 in 2020s dollars that's truly insane i guess you do pay a premium to purchase something out of a vending machine it has a markup that's fair but 329 come on It's also a weird price to put into a vending machine. You're not wrong. Three bills and three dimes? Isn't it quicker to constantly wally? You can only wally when you get a contextual clue, to the best of my knowledge. I've been mashing the button. It only appears to work on ramps. Oh, hello. Yes, I see you. You're right there. You say it best when you say nothing at all, brother. Okay, Pastor. I've brought you your taboo trinity. I'd like to exchange it for a ticket to the goddess. Oh, how I pity you. You see, my dear lost land. You have no idea what I've Lord been through. Still hungers. One anaconda skin. One squirrel tail. And one pressed white guara. This is what you must bring next. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How pitiful. <laughs> Our Lord never speaks in jest. Uh, I told you this was gonna be a pain in the butt. You have no idea... ...the things I've had to do to survive, just to get you these ingredients. Come on, we need to get going. <sighs> it looks like we'll need to work harder to get God's attention, Zack. Part of me just wants to say to hell with it and go have a smoke. Nobody hurts and nobody cries. Acquire zero of six anaconda skins. Goal, park. What does that even mean? Were I not already broke? You're luckily I you're lucky I'm fiscally unsustainable right now, or you would be riddled with lead. And nothing left to lose, and you give yourself away. You too? Yep, me as well. By the way, what the heck is a guara? <laughs> I loved your cameo in Grumbay's new Warzone video. Normally, I would respond to this with, 
What did you just say to me? However, I did see that video. Someone linked it on Twitter. They, it's a Warzone highlights. You know, Patty, I just remembered something. It's a Warzone highlight compilation edited in a very humorous and meme way. They showed the cluster play where we uh, bodied that team like two weeks ago on Unity and then spliced in the part where I go, PUT THAT ON YOUR TIKTOK! When we met Philip in the sheriff's office, he mentioned your mother. What sort of history does Melvin have with the Clarksons? What do you mean? They also showed the fatal squeeb. Oh, I didn't see that. The Clarksons know I everyone in town, one. and everyone in town knows the Clarksons. This is Lucare. That's all there is to it. Zach, something isn't right here. I just hope the Clarksons don't have anything to do with her mother's illness. That's all I'm concerned about. Either way, the truth will reveal itself to us eventually. That's the spirit. Just like it always has. Is this another playthrough or the first one? I honestly think we're about 3% of the way into the game. If that answers your question. So apparently, yes, there is a park to the east. If we go there, I guess we're just going to shoot a bunch of anacondas. Or maybe they're just on the ground. Sure. Low quality string. Hey, I've been waiting for that string for six weeks! Hello? This is Found idiotic. And, and freshly shed from the looks of it. Now, let's get a move on before we run into its former owner. What do you think God wants with something like this anyway? But, we're, but what do you mean get a move on? We need five more. Sweary. Hey, Zach. Remember this movie? Here we go. This is what it's all about. 1997, directed by Luis... Jennifer Wilson. Lopez, Anakin. John Voight, Ice Cube. The movie where the famous John Voight goes crazy with a rifle. Of course. Then don't forget about the snake. Jennifer Lopez, Eric Stoltz. Ice Cube. Even Owen Wilson and Ice Cube were in it. What did I tell you? Is that an all-star cast or what? In 1997, no, but many of them did go on to improve their, you know, Hollywood standing. The scene in the beginning where Danny Trejo climbs up a ladder with a pistol in one hand is a must-see. It stole my heart within the first five minutes. A thrill a minute roller coaster the whole family can enjoy. Okay, back to the real world. We're on an important mission right now, aren't we? A Mission from God. Remember that movie, Zach? The Blues Brothers, 1980, directed by Dan Aykroyd. One of John Belushi's last starring roles. That was a good one. Remember the car chase at the end of that movie? Through the mall? Isn't it amazing? By my standards, one of the best car chases of all time. Although the one in Bullet is very good, too. What do you think, Zach? It's actually directed by John Landis. Not in my head, Cannon. Medium quality plate. There About we go. About three years ago, I met a man who had a pair of anaconda skin shoes. He said they were a trophy from a snake he hunted and skinned all by himself. Could you kill something and then wear its skin? I couldn't. No thanks. I failed to see any difference between that and a crazed murderer who carries pieces of his victims home with him. You don't see any difference? From a man who uh, wears leather and a serial killer? 
and you work for the FBI. Imagine that. What on earth is this? All right. Um, any squirrel tails around here? Oh my. Maybe you gotta look at it first. You have to kill the squirrels. What else have you seen on that sci-fi movie channel? Shut up! Is the frame rate always this bad? Yes. All right. Chad, where do I go to get squirrels? Deliver judgment unto squirrels and collect zero of six squirrel tails. You punch the trees. Oh, they're the red on your map. Oh! I see him. Look at that. They're trying to get away. The frame rate won't let him. What are you- You stole my mint gum! You're- you're- Are you gonna- you mean to tell me that a squirrel stole my sleeping bag? That shit is like 15 bucks. Let's go! Sorry. Chicory fur. Chicory tail. There's our squirrel tail. I hope we can gather the rest of the materials this quickly. Honestly, we don't have the time to help God out with his heavenly errands. I mean, you didn't have to make the quest. You think you can hide from me? I got him. I got him. Let's go! <laughs> Hey! Gonna need to buy some more bullets soon, though. Any more squirrels around here? Oh, hold on. Hold on. A medium quality string. Couple UFOs straight ahead, you're not wrong. Skirt. I see no squirrels. 200 bucks? This game has the strangest economy I've ever seen. It's completely made up. You spend money on food, when you eat it, you get food back. If you smell bad, it costs you money. If you chew a piece of gum, you get your money back. You need range up charms. This is hell, dude. Mom's heels. Squirrels, please. Any squirrels around here? Squirrels? Any squirrels? Do we have any squirrels around here? Just looking for some squirrels. Psst, 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 psst. 
Why is this game popular? I I don't think Deadly Premonition 2 is... It, it's not popular based on my definition of popularity. Excuse me. He almost got us. What's the over under on you dropping this by next week? Zero. We will complete Deadly Premonition too. I mean, I actually like it a lot when I'm listening to it and not playing it. New NL finishes games. Absolutely true. I still want to see what happened to Simon. Me too. We don't know if he died on the shitter yet. You got any squirrels around here? Any squirrel related issues? Let me know if you see some squirrels. Francis, York, Morgan. Oh, I'm sorry. I just need... <laughs> five more squirrel tails and the guarna which I'm pretty sure is an airport in New York. And then I can continue playing the game. It's near houses. <laughs> I'm not made of money here, brother. Any squirrels around here? You have the tails? I only have one tail, I think. Or I had two out of six. Oh, the skirt! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You can't get away from me. The heck, there's like a green one over there. Nailed him. You're not taking my sleeping bag! You should have bought a squirrel. Amazing. Great. I don't think you should be here. We need this one. Let's go. Rare kill bonus 777. Oh, son of a bitch. They're coming in hot. You really shouldn't be walking in front of me, lady. Let's go. Certain Anecdote. countries consider squirrel tails to be wards against demonic powers. Apparently, the tails quiver whenever evil draws near. So when people go out on journeys, they always carry squirrel tails with them. Oh, do they? The fresher the tail, the higher its price. Boo. Talk more about movies. God, this is hell. How? Oh, you! Just wait till I get a fresh clip in this thing. <laughs> You're toasted. Another tail. Another tail. It's just a dang mailbox, dude. Low quality bead. All right. Here we go again. Look over red dots. Red dots on the map. This town sure is peaceful, Zach. Yes, I know. I know what you're about to say. But that's why we're here. To protect... Sorry. Thought I could make that corner a little easily. A little more easily, I should say. This is the deep south. I feel it every time that molten hot sun pours down on me. Don't you, Zach? So 
All right, just cruising around the neighborhood. If it wasn't for me, one thing's for sure. This place would be Squirrel City. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And there's a shiny. One seamless motion. Get off the skateboard, pull out the piece. Sit him. Lady, get out of here! Fur. Fur, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do this to me. Oh! <laughs> Ripping a squirrel's tail off its corpse is an eye-opening experience, Zack. I don't care if God commanded us to do this. It's pure butchery. But we'll just have to live with it. After all, humans are wild at heart. All right. Oh my god. Three FPS smoking. Zack, I never knew that following oracles was such backbreaking work. I really needed this cigarette. I think I'm on the verge of losing my mind. <laughs> now we just need to find one pressed white Gora. He was very clear that it had to be pressed. Do they sell pressed flowers in stores here? I think I'm stumped, Zack. Perhaps we better go ask our well-informed concierge for help. Do we have to? Yes. I really thought we could run him over. Okay, hold on. Map. If you'll do me a favor, please allow me to get the Casa Pineapple. Why do I hear boss music? Oh, it's just the squirrels. Don't worry about it. Yo, turn it up! The end. Don't worry, I know a shortcut. This town sure is peaceful, Zack. Yes, I know. I know what you're about to say. It's my bad. I apologize. Didn't mean to. Were you thinking about Galena too? And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states. Zack, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. Incredibly vast. We've been here before. And it's mostly composed of mountains, deserts, and farmland, with small towns scattered about here and there. Kind That's of? how America looks to me. Compared to the scale of this entire country, New York. Chicago and LA are all microscopic. Sometimes they even feel like figments of my imagination. Think back to what Las Vegas looked like when we were driving up I-15. It was a mirage. The TV and movies dress up those mirages and broadcast them to people all around the world. Meanwhile, American women become fascinated by the gorgeous city lights and are drawn toward those illusions. The very same women who were chosen as prom queens in their small towns. In He's such end, an incel. All they find are ghosts. Once their eyes adjust to that blinding light, they realize there's nothing but vanity and lust surrounding them. They finally figure out that it was all in their heads. Then they quickly try to satisfy themselves with something else. Drugs. And drugs <laughs> are the gateway to a whole pantheon of crime. Zach, remember what you told me once? The women who turn to crime aren't the evil ones. The drugs aren't evil either. They're nothing but chemicals. The ones who feed off those women and use them. They're the ones to hate. Let's go, Zack. We need to find the person who's hiding behind Galena and drag them out into the blazing southern sun. Sounds like a Bruce Springsteen song. Please just talk about movies. <laughs> I'm begging you, talk about movies. Your thoughts on gender politics are not welcomed here.
Okay, Zach. Let's go talk to our concierge. It'd be impossible for us to find a white Gora all on our own in such a vast area. Sure, let's do it. Just the man I wanted to see. Welcome back, Mr. Morgan, sir. Hello there, concierge. Do you mind if I ask you a question? How may I help you, Mr. Morgan? I'm in need of a pressed white Gora. Do you know of a store where I could find one? Preferably uh, on the cheap. The Lord Hungus? Correct. Jolly good, sir. In that case, please ask our bellboy. Definitely not a waste of my time. His hobby is pressing flowers, so I'm sure he'll be able to assist you. Okay. I'll go speak to the bellboy if you don't mind. I'll be back in a jiffy. If you're in a hurry, head over to the chef. Oh. My. God. Oh no, he, no he's, he's just... Where are you? I'm about to go John Q. He's only there from 3 until 10. Chef? Yes, Chef. What is it, mister? I got my hands full here. I'm guarding the I'm guarding the food so Do nobody you know eats where it. I might find a pressed white gora. Now what did I tell you? I'm a professional chef. I don't flap my gums about any old thing. If you wanna know about the town, you best ask our concierge. What a delightful idea, Chef David. Unfortunately for you, I have done that mere seconds ago. So what's your second best course of action, sir? Oh. My. God. Hello, concierge. I'm presently engaged in other business right now. Please speak to the bellboy if you happen to be in a hurry. Hello. May I ask you a question? Sure, boss. What's cracking? <laughs> you are on my last nerve. I need to find a pressed white Gora. You like flowers, boss? What are you, like a Dick Tracy mob boss henchman? Well, not exactly. But it's the will of God. The Lord Hungers. The Lord Hungers! <laughs> Excellent, David. Way to cut right to the chase. So I appreciate about you guys. You always just get right down to business. Do you know where I might find one? Sorry, boss. <laughs> we only have one white gora bush in our garden. Yep. What's the problem? Well, yesterday I picked them all and pressed them, see? That's perfect. Would you mind giving one to me? Sorry, boss. No can do. What do you mean? I used all the pressed flowers I made to decorate a very special spot, see? What spot? The bathroom, on the first floor. The bathroom. Yes, sirree. <laughs> so, I don't have a single pressed flower left now. Well then, I'll just go and grab one from the bathroom. I wouldn't do that if I were you, boss. Taking a pressed flower from a bathroom into church? Ah, Jesus ain't gonna like that. Sorry, but it Let looks me like go. you're all out Let of me go. Let me go. Remember that. Remember that the next time I ask you for something. Where are they? Oh. What is this bathroom, dude? It's only got one stall. Oh my god. Zach. Deep South.
Yes, inspect, please. The white gora, also known as the whirling butterfly. They certainly look just as beautiful as one. Never thought I'd ever have to pick a flower from a bathroom and deliver it to a church. <laughs> but he left us no choice. We have fun here. Did he, Zach? God himself commanded us to carry out this very act. Therefore, I'm simply doing as I'm told. My own will has nothing to do with it. We never get to engage in adventures like these while living in the city, do we, Zach? <laughs> no, uh, the cases of the city are honestly quite about what those boring. rugs smell like. Who wants to fish through the garbage for a missing corpse's genital? What is wrong with you? Or chase a stray bullet that got lodged into a moving taxi. And usually, it's all just a formality so that we can accuse a criminal who's been obviously guilty since day one. <laughs> what is that face, dude? It looks like the it's the cat at the dinner table that's going... It's perfect. If I have to search for something, I'd much rather search for something out here. It's just so much more dramatic. This is the countryside, and it's sensational. You know what I mean, don't you, Zach? We got it. That's all that matters. Take the taboo trinity to Tyrone. This looks like that one emote. You know the one. You know what you know the one I'm talking about. No, not lion baby. No, 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 no. It's like a, is a weird alien or something? Yeah, 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 hold on, we're getting closer. No, not Malf Rav. No, not that alien, it's not that alien-esque. You know what I mean? It's like an alien, and it's, it's facing this way, and it's going like... Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna find this. Is an alien facing this way? And it goes... Is that one. I'm not moving until I see it. Not, not that one. Not square. It looks like a man going... It's it dude it gets posted in here all the time. And now I can't find it. I don't know the name. Yeah, that's it's kind of like that. There it's it's very similar to this one. It's very similar to Germa Pluto, but it's a little different. It must be a it must be a Germa Emo. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of like that one, kind of like Germa Moon, but it's more, it's like an alien though, and it's going, like that face is one to one. If you can't find it based on that, you are truly lost. Maybe it's Vine Alien? It really seemed like you knew who Galena Clarkson was. Well, I've never actually talked to her. But it's a small town. Pretty much all folks know who the Clarksons are. And Galena's supposed to be extra scary compared to the rest of them. Back when we saw her in town, I felt like she was glaring right at me. So I got real scared. No one will come out and say it, but I'm pretty sure they're all relieved that she was the killer. We're lucky the killer ended up being a member of the club. I think we've had this conversation. I'm not baiting. Just figure out what it... Hold on. I am going to send it over to Kate, but first we got to take it back to the quest. We, we got to take it back to the church. If we don't do this, like we've literally done nothing the whole stream. It's not fish mole, it's not jabated. 
It's like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's a pale man or an alien that is making that face. I don't know, it kind of looks like it might be like a... Like a vinyl doll or something. I never know what half the emos people post are. It's Germa Sour. Yeah, dude, that's it! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. No, no, that, no, it's Moon 2MD. It's Moon 2MD. Can I please see a Moon 2MD? Yeah. It's, oh, he's facing the wrong way, but he was going like this. What did I tell you, dude? It's like one to one. What do you mean it's not even... That is not a human man. They have mouths for eyes. That's... It's posted here all the time. You guys are insane. That's... You're... You've lost it. You've lost your minds. Oh, no fence can hold you. Can you do the face again? I'll do it one more time. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, just Google with no spaces, Moon 2MD, and then look at this. I can't do it anymore, I'm self-conscious. I gotta do it this way. It's kinda like that, it's something like that. I For a, a couple of times I had it one to one. But now, chat's got me self-conscious and they ruined it. Hold on, I'm skateboarding to church. I gotta focus on being cool. Here we are. Bang! I'm in! Like that. It's like that. If you were a youth pastor, would you be the cool one that has tattoos and listens to Christian rock? No, I'm pretty sure I would be like, I would be a buttoned up I youth pastor. I sincerely hope this is the last of God's divine errands. I'd be all about the good book. I'd be the youth pastor that nobody wanted to have. Because the kids would be like, they're boring. I wouldn't be like one of the cool ones. Who's like, you know, God is lit. That Fam. makes two of us. God was the original influencer. And the apostles were the original squad. Heavenly. Truly heavenly. He threw away all the spam, the red beans, and the spinach. Oh my god. I don't believe this. All this time, he was only after the cans? Shh. Be quiet, Agent York. He's doing holy work. Just be quiet and watch. What a fragrant press flower. Thank you for this blessing, O oh Lord. Yes, Zack. As fragrant as a urinal cake. Got him. Shh. Behold! It is finished! Um... Our Lord is enraptured. Take this, my lambs, and let it serve you. You made me some bongos. Just take it, Agent York. Folks say Pastor Sanders' instruments have special powers. Special powers? Yes, it is the truth, my lost lambs. This is the have town faith. doctor. The Lord guides me to create the perfect instrument for each citizen of our town. Each instrument's effects differ by person, too. In your case, you were blessed with three drums and a special flower. This is the will of the Lord. You must accept it and have faith. <laughs> if you ever find yourself lost again, return to me at I don't even remember why I was here in the first place. Patty, I'm curious. Do you have an instrument too? 
Was it just because huh? Hoongan told of me to come here? Not. Why would I ever That's it? Those stupid things. I'm fine just watching you adults play your silly little games. That's it. <sighs> wow. Zack, the pressed flower we took from the bathroom ended up coming straight back to us. That was two hours of work. Acquired eerie drum. Can we do anything with it? I went broke! I took s six animals' lives! Sorry, let me use your phone real quick. Well, that's gonna do it for the stream today. <laughs> let me see. <laughs> let me see what Kate's up to. One moment, please. Kate is going to play a game called Creeks. I don't know it. I, I assume it's one of the ones that goes like... Uh, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over by something, 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 something. Ooh. Oh, it's from Amanita Design. The same people who made... Machinarium and Botanicula, is that correct? Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And next Sunday, we'll figure out what happened with Simon Sharp. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs>